Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. It's Krista with Rock and Road. Today we're out at Headlands International Dark Sky Park, uh, just outside of Mackinac City in Upper Michigan. I'm here with my mom and my aunt. We are looking for some fossils. I don't think we're gonna take anything home from here. I don't know if you're allowed to take anything home from here, but uh, there's lots of great fossils in the rocks on the beach. So uh, we're hoping to find some good stuff and just point it out and appreciate it. It's a great place to go at night to look at the night sky, but in the daytime, you might find some cool stuff too. All sorts of corals here, horn coral there, horn coral there, and big coral up here. Mom found a nice little brachiopod piece here. Very nice, Mom. There's a nice horn coral in here. So you've got the side of the coral, so you can actually see it looks like a horn. So that would be the top of it up here that would feed and then it would dig down into the sediments. So this rock would have been angled like this in real life. I asked if this is a pudding stone. It's not. You got some little, I think, brachiopod fossils in it. A little bryozoan fossil next to it, which is like a kind of a mossy animal. That's just a piece of chert. You're in my light. <laughs> it's okay. We've got a whole bunch of little corals in here. Neat stuff. Mom found that's, this piece so here. That's a fossil plant, Janice. That's <laughs> Which I think is part of a horn coral, but this might be some sort of big clam or brachiopod fossil. Not sure. Aunt Jay found a nice little brachiopod in this big rock and there's some nice coral down here. So there's a lot of coral fossils here but there's no Petoskey stones, no Petoskey corals. Those are middle Devonian. This stuff here is early Devonian so it's a little older. But uh, you have some nice some kind. And then you've got the coral colonies and then the single horn corals as well, which are singular animals. So the colonies are each cell is a different coral. Here's maybe a fossil coral or bright that one. Maybe a sponge. I'm not sure on that one. In addition to the limestones that make up the beach here, you have some granites and some gneisses and that well, might be a granite, I think that's a quartzite. Um, but these are all either igneous or metamorphic rocks that come from a little further north. They were brought here by glaciers, dropped off in the ice sheets that covered the area. So uh, we call them glacial erratics. My mom pointed out this one that coral. That's cool. I want to take that home. I don't have room in the car. I'm not sure if we're allowed anyway. So I'm going to leave him behind. Right there. And Jay found this lovely piece of coral here. Very nice. Ooh, mom found a really nice brachiopod. It's a nice size. Very cool. Good job, mom. Another nice coral find by mom. This piece has a nice coral fossil on it. It's a calcite in that one. It's real sparkly in the sun. This looks like maybe stromatolite. It might just be a type of coral or bryzoan, but the waviness makes me think stromatolite, like a fossilized algae. Here's a nice little bryzoan chunk. Details on that. That's cool. Alright. Mom found another nice little coral, little honeycomb coral in there. Nice. 
mom claims she found a dinosaur tooth. <laughs> it's not a dinosaur tooth. <laughs> I think it's just a chunk of limestone. I don't even think that's a fossil. It might be. <laughs> Way too old of a rock to be a dinosaur tooth. Mom found another half of a brachiopod. Nice. You said there was another one down here? Ooh. A really nice big chunk of that honeycomb coral. That's really pretty. Look at the bottom of that. Okay. And the side. I like that one a lot. Mom found another little honeycomb coral. Nice. One time here, I found a little trilobite backside. It'd be cool if I could find that again. I found another little top of a horn coral. Nice. We've got another horn coral there. A couple of it's a coral there. And I don't know what's in that one. There's a little bit of a brachiopod shell fragment. Mm -hmm. Another a little bit of coral there, and it's probably another type of coral up there. Yeah, it's a coral. Is this a petrified marshmallow? <laughs> <laughs> no. It is a little. Uh, I'll set crystal pocket in there. Look at that. Cool. It's longhorn coral in this one. There's the top of it. So it would have been oriented like this, ducking down. But uh, it's nice and long. Yeah. The coral here and the inside of the coral there. It's kind of cool. That is more corals. Coral there. Into a little coral bit. And there, a little bryzoan too. There's lots of bryzoan in there. And down this cool rock here with all sorts of stuff. We got some coral down here. A little bit of a brachiopod shell there. Some more little brachiopod. Brachiopod coral or maybe a sponge. Another coral here on the side. Cool. Good find, NJ. Ooh. I know you helped her with that one. <laughs> Got a nice big coral there and a whole bunch of little bryzoans down the sides there. All right, guys. We are heading on out. We saw a lot of great fossils on our walk along the beach today. I don't think we're going to take anything home just because we already have so much rock in the car and I don't need any more fossils. Um, but it's a great place to go and look around, enjoy the scenery. It's a nature preserve and it's a dark sky park. So it's a great place to come at night and do some night sky photography or just to watch the, uh, the stars. Appreciate the Milky Way, maybe the Northern Lights if you're lucky. But uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already and uh, see you next time.